Hello everyone, I'm DCG Retrowave. It's a beautiful day outside in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Apparently it's going to rain again later, but before it does, I'm on a mission to relive part of my childhood watching local TV using an antenna connected to a CRT, which used to look something like this until we started needing additional equipment to continue doing so. See, the thing is, older televisions like this can only receive an analog signal, and since 2011 here in Canada, all of our stations have been broadcasting in digital only. Except for the CBC, the cutoff for that was in 2012. So yeah, we're gonna need a, a digital converter box, which I did own at one point, but it stopped working after like two years. I got it just shortly after the initial switch from analog to digital back in 2011. Um, and yeah, it stopped working like, I think like beginning of 2015. I don't know why, it just wouldn't pick up anything anymore. It wasn't the antenna, because if I plugged the antenna into a digital TV, it worked. So, not sure what happened there, but to be fair, most of those digital converter boxes were pretty cheaply made from what I've seen. But hopefully the one I'm gonna pick up today will be better. There's a ProScan ATSC converter listed on Visions Electronics website, and it doesn't seem to actually show what stores it's available at, it just says, in stock and then I try to select stores and it doesn't actually update to show like this many available at this location so I could just call in advance so I'm not wasting my time but where's the fun in that we're going for a walk we're gonna find out for ourselves if they still have one uh, but before we do that allow me to show you the TV that we're gonna be connecting this thing to oh yeah and I also need to buy an antenna because I honestly don't know where my old one went so Hopefully they have those as well. I'm pretty sure they, they will because I've seen plenty of antennas at places like Best Buy and stuff. So even if they don't have one, I'm sure Best Buy will. And that would be weird if they're selling the converter box but not the antenna. So they probably have one, but we'll see. Anyway, let's take a look at the TV that we're going to be using. Here it is, the 32-inch Panasonic Geo from 1998. Before I talk about how amazing this thing is, I just want to say that this was an absolute nightmare to move into my apartment a year ago. My arms are basically twigs and I don't exactly have the best coordination when it comes to moving things, so my dad pretty much did all the work and I just stood there. But enough about that, this TV is awesome. I use it for pretty much everything except for my Xbox Series X that I have connected to a modern 4K TCL TV and a spare Xbox for local multiplayer. I have 11 of these things, I've done LAN parties, it's fun. Anyway, yeah, so for gaming, of course, I've got my original Xbox, Xbox 360 and a PlayStation 2 here. For much older systems, like the Master System and Genesis, I have those connected to a 1984 Hitachi that's in my bedroom. I also use this TV for streaming services, using this Roku that has composite video. Yes, I severely overpaid for this. I paid almost 300 Canadian dollars on eBay to get this. It was actually just over 200, but then I had to pay whatever import thing when it actually showed up before they would release the package to me. I don't know. It was it was stupid. But anyway, was it worth it? Instead of just buying a standard Roku and getting a converter? Not exactly. I got this because I was hoping it would properly support the 4x3 aspect ratio, and it kind of does. It's situational. So all of the user interfaces are stretched, but videos will still play fine, despite that, as long as they're 16 by 9 So they'll letterbox correctly. It's all fine and dandy. Uh, but then when you watch a 4x3 video on YouTube, it'll actually crop the sides and make it square, which is super weird. And then a lot of them, like Crave and Disney Plus, uh, will just letterbox as if you were uh, just displaying it on a 16x9 TV anyway. So, not great, but whatever. Basically, it's as if I have a 26-inch TV at that point instead of 32. And then, um, I think Tubi, and there's probably a few others, but Tubi was one I noticed that if, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it was Tubi that would actually display 4x3 correctly. So that was nice. I was able to watch Sailor Moon in full screen. But yeah, that was about it. Anyway, enough of me rambling. Let's go get a digital converter box and a new antenna. All right, so I'm heading to Visions Electronics now. But first, I'm going to be stopping at Kildonan Place Shopping Center because I need to eat. So let's do that. We're going to hit up New York Fries. Which, fun fact... I don't believe there is one in New York or the US at all for that matter. Actually, I think there are a few locations. Could be wrong on that though. It's a Canadian thing. But it's called New York Fries. So that's super weird. But anyway, be like that. Vlogging in 4K on the S24 Ultra. It's funny, I started this video off with a completely different camera 
for like the first scene solely because I don't have a tripod mount for this thing because honestly this is better than the thousand dollar camera I just bought recently but I can't return it because it's way past it was way past the 30 days by the time I got this phone right uh but you know what that's okay because I'm still gonna use that camera. It's, it's actually a really good camera. I, I'd say there's certain things it does better than this, but overall, like, the S24 Ultra is amazing. It's crazy how far phones have come because I'm gonna be doing a comparison in a second here, actually, just for fun, uh, but I have the Galaxy Note 3 on me. I only tell you, video on this is pretty terrible in comparison, but for 2012, it was still, still solid, right? Would you believe that this is as bright as this screen gets? This is absolutely terrible in direct sunlight. It looks a little better in person than it does on screen right now, but yeah, it's like, it's pretty bad still. Crazy how much technology has changed in the past decade. All right, here's the Galaxy Note 3. I am trying to walk as smoothly as I can right now, and it's just so shaky. It's amazing how far we've come. Like, there's no stabilization whatsoever. This is bad. <laughs> But other than that, like if you hold it completely still, it's actually not bad quality, especially for the time on a cell phone. Yeah, it's actually pretty decent. Although, looks really dark. Oh, there we go. Now I'm in direct light. Yeah, actually it's not bad. It's just, you know, the lack of uh, stabilization. Actually, this feels smoother now on the selfie camera. That or I'm just crazy, I don't know. I mean, I am crazy, but maybe, Maybe it's not that this time. All right, here we are at Kill Zone in place. All right, so we're on our way to New York Fries now. And, oh, wait a minute. There's like a taste of Ukraine. There was an African uh, food place there before. I think it was like West African cuisine. Here we are at New York Fries. I'm gonna get probably just the fries. I could get a hot dog. I'm probably just gonna get fries. And Dr. Pepper, of course. All right, we got our New York Fries here. Looking good. Extra not healthy. And what is this garbage? This is the new drink cups. I just. I just spilled that on myself. Nice. I've never like tipped one of the older cups and then spilled on myself. This is terrible. This is basically an oversized juice box and it just doesn't work. Oh yeah, look at that delicious fry. Also, um, once you put a straw on this, it's not too bad. Last time I had one of these, it was at Polo Park and they just told me you don't need a straw, just put this up to your mouth. It does work, but it's terrible. So thank you um, KP New York Fries for at least giving me a straw. We're going into, before I go to Visions, we're going to Sunrise Records, because music. You know, that's kind of the point of this channel. As mentioned previously, I muted the audio while in Sunrise Records due to them playing copyrighted music. However, I just had to point out that they incorrectly labeled a bunch of Christian music as country. I know for a fact that Chris Tomlin and Hawk Nelson are not country artists. All right, we're on our way to Visions. You know what I just realized? So Visions is over there, it's still a little further, but back there where I just came from, there's a Best Buy. They probably had what I was looking for with the digital converter box and I just didn't bother checking. I just saw that Visions have one and I'm like, okay, we're going to Visions. Man, I love ADHD. I do some really spontaneous things. Smitty's has like the best wings. Uh, they have wing nights on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Visions Electronics. Let's do this. Let's go find a digital converter box. I haven't been here in a long time. Oh look, the smartest galaxy phone on the fastest national network. Well, maybe it's 
this? It's I know I saw one branded ProScan. Oh, here it is actually, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Do you guys, uh, I, I take it there probably is an antenna here somewhere as well, or do you guys sell them? No. Really? It's just this? Yeah. I need this for uh, this old TV here. <laughs> All right, so we got the digital converter box and a coaxial cable because I don't think I actually have a spare one at my apartment. I still find it funny that they didn't have antennas, but they had a digital converter box. Like, the converter box on its own isn't going to do anything, whereas the antenna can work on its own as long as you have a TV that was manufactured within, like, the last 20 years. And it's not like I don't. I just choose not to use the new one. I love being me. I'm so awesome. <laughs> Look what we have here. Toys R Us. This is why being Canadian is awesome. Celebrate our awesome nation with beer and barbecue. That's pretty Canadian. You know what else is pretty Canadian? Tim Hortons, which honestly isn't even that good. Look how far we are from KP. Watch this. Doesn't feel so far now, does it? Get the S24 Ultra, man. I'm just a Samsung shill at this point. Like, where's the fun in? I ordered this on Amazon. Here it is, let's go. I prefer actually being able to physically go into a store still. Best Buy. All right. TVs, I know they have the antennas here somewhere. Just a matter of uh, finding them. Yeah, we used to carry them in store. We used to have a couple options. That we had yeah, I know, I know there was a few even just a few months back. Yeah, yeah nothing anymore. We just kind of stopped getting them in. We can always order them online, but yeah. Um, yeah. Visions down the road, maybe. In the Surprisingly, mall. they did not. They had the digital converter box for an old TV, but not the um, not the antenna, which in is really weird. Mall, maybe, like the source or something like that. So right as I was about to panic, I suddenly remembered that I already have an antenna hooked up to my 1984 Hitachi in the bedroom. So all I needed was a converter box. We're good. Time to go home. Let's get started. All right, so here we have the ProScan digital converter box that appears to have been opened at some point. I mean, no, this looks pretty brand new, just um, wasn't sealed. So we get a cheap AV cable here. Looks pretty trash. And we're not even gonna be using that, we're using coax. Um, got this decent looking remote actually. And then the unit itself. Not bad. This is actually a really nice unit. It's got RF in, which it needs for the antenna, RF out, a channel three and four switch, HDMI, component, and composite. No S video though. And now for the hard part, figuring out where I should put this. Maybe behind the Sega Master System? There's definitely no room down here because we already have the Sega Genesis 3 sitting on top of an Xbox 360 Slim. Um, hmm. This is heavily. It doesn't have rubber feet either. I mean, I don't think it's gonna scratch up the TV. At least I hope it doesn't. You better not. The TV's way more precious than you, digital converter box. This thing actually has stereo. A lot of uh, TVs from at this time period just have a mono input. Not this one. So let's hope this works. Um, if this antenna doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to go and pick one up real fast. Nice. Okay. Nice. Let me go get batteries actually, because that probably will make my life a little easier. All right, let's get this started. I'm just gonna have to hold my arm like that right now. All right. Is it to press a button or is it actually doing it? Oh, it's working. CKY, so that's uh, CTV. All right, we're getting a few channels here. So CKY is the local CTV. CKND, I believe, is global news. 
CMEWT, I'm trying to think what that is. I feel like I've seen those, uh, oh wait, what is CBWFTDT? Well, actually, no, wait, that's probably another variant of this. Is this like the French CBC? I'm trying to remember, CIIT, what is this? Hmm. It's been a while since I've uh, used antenna. Like, last time I tried out an antenna at all was like five years ago, and that was on a digital TV. Uh, so I haven't used a converter box in like a decade. Like, not that there's a lot of channels in Winnipeg, by the way. I uh, just, I remember back when it was analog, I used to be able to pick up, I think, it was either six or seven. Oh, I just realized this has the wrong time. It thinks it's Eastern. And it's going by 24 hour time. Can I change that? Game? Oh, what is game? What? <laughs> what? I was not expecting that. I thought it was like a game input, like, you know, like, um, on some TVs where they had that game mode. I thought it was like something like that. But no, it's actually games. PVR? Wait a minute. Wait, does it actually have a PVR? Can I actually record programs? So, I can put a USB drive in here and use this as a PVR. That's pretty cool. This is obviously French CBC. If I go up, we're gonna get English CBC. And then if I go next, we should get CTV. Oh, or not. It's scanned, but it's not showing anything. Hmm. Well, that's when you just go like this. <laughs> oh, wait, whoa, whoa, it worked. It worked. I, I honestly, I was just gonna. <laughs> I. I didn't think me touching it was going to change anything. I was just like, oh, well, you know, you got to extend the rabbit ears and stuff. And it actually works? What? <laughs> nice. Anyway, that's CTV. All right, this is obviously going to be global. In a moment, we're also tracking the possibility of severe weather tonight in some areas. Of course. <laughs> I hate the weather right now. My uh, parents' street was flooded uh, this morning, and my mom lost power for like an hour. Oh yeah, uh, just a second ago they showed the uh, Provence Bridge that I've uh, used as a backdrop for multiple photos. I was about to say something, and then they're talking about visions. We were just there! <laughs> Visions.ca. Yeah, I want to win a digital converter box. <laughs> All right, so Channel 35 is what used to be called Joy TV and at some point Hope TV. Looks like they're now calling it Faith TV. Due to the controversial nature of the programming that they've been showing for like the past 20 minutes, I kept checking to see if it would change so I could show you guys, but I just think it's probably best if I just don't show it. So yeah, uh, we're going to be skipping over that one for now. But since I was able to get CTV working after I just touch the antenna. Um, I'm going to do another scan with the antenna fully extended and see if maybe we can pick up city TV. Let's hope for the best. Beautiful, isn't it? All right. So let's run that scan again and see if something changes. Now, earlier in the video, I showed off the Panasonic in the living room and said that we were going to be connecting an antenna to that. Because this one's mounted to the TV and it's all I have at the moment, we're just doing all this on this TV. However, I'm going to show you guys that Roku briefly and then we'll wrap up the video there because I actually have somewhere I'm supposed to be right now. And instead, I'm just screwing around with old tech, which is basically the story of my life at this point. No way. I actually got it. I haven't been able to pick up City TV ever since the switch over to digital back in 2011. That's crazy. I'm finally going to be able to pick it up. Well, I mean, to be fair, we don't know. It might just be like too weak of a signal. Like it knows it's there, but it's just not strong enough for the, the image to actually come up on screen. So we'll see. It works. It works perfectly. Wait, what? Huh? I didn't press anything. Why'd it kick me out? What? 
Um, what was any of that? I didn't press anything. I actually didn't press anything. Oh. Okay, well, now it's not exactly working so well. I mean, it could have been better. Uh, but hey, the fact that I'm able to pick it up at all is an improvement. All right, guys, let's quickly check out the Panasonic Geo before I need to leave. I've got this old MTS remote here. Let's power it on and check out the Roku. Here's a good example of that weird cropping that YouTube does on this Roku with 4x3 videos. As you can see, the uh, the sides are cut off, so it's basically just a square now. You can still watch it like this, but kind of unfortunate. I think my Disney Plus subscription ran out. I'm gonna see if we can load something up quickly. Well, it looks like my subscription's still active, at least for the time being. I mean, I guess we're gonna find out when I try to play something here. I know this isn't 4x3 content, but I just want to see if it at least works. Okay, we're good. But yeah, um, this is all I was actually using Disney Plus for, was just to watch like old Pixar stuff. Because I really don't care about any modern Disney stuff whatsoever. Alright, I found an old Mickey Mouse animation, so this should be 4x3. Yeah. So that's what it does. <laughs> it's just a, I'm getting like 26 inches out of the 32 inches that I paid for. Let's see if it works. Will it be full screen? And it is. Nice. That's what I wanted to see. Anyway. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed what was essentially just a typical day in the life of DCG Retrowave. I just explored some retro tech with a bit of a modern twist. So yeah, fun stuff. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, everyone, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Skibbity toilet on a CRT. Um, what the Sigma?